Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we are finally covering the SCZ3. Since Redacted 24-7 is back, I got a bit more time with the gun. I just finished tier warning it yesterday, so I'm now finally think I have enough playtime to give a proper review on the gun. And all I can say is for an SMG, the gun is kinda mid. It kinda reminds me of like the M5A3 from the AR category, where it's a gun that can do everything but does nothing really good, and especially on SMG that is used for close range saying well it's not really that good in close range because it's kind of mid and does everything else mid it's not really something you want to hear and actually in a game i had the other day somebody in chat said the gun reminded him a bit of like a worse pp bison or pp29 what's called in this game and i have to agree with him but what's the problem of the gun well basically the close range ttk you have on smg is not that quick and you are slightly slower than every other smg if i'm not mistaken and even slightly slower than some AI ass but in return you get a gun with basically no recoil and also no visual recoil. since visual recoil is new this season i think it's just right for me to also add if a gun has a lot of visual recoil not in those guys no so the gun comes with really controllable recoil very little visual recoil you get a good amount of ammo but in return your ttk just isn't great and especially on smg that you mainly use in close range that's not that good or oh, rather that's something you really don't want to have i don't want to pick an smg just to lose a gunfight in close range because my ttk is just too long but yeah if you want to play this gun currently in season 7 you have to reach battle pass level 7 to unlock this gun so let's get into some numbers first of all all of the numbers are from sorrow's weapon spreadsheet i will link it to you in the description he basically hand tests every gun at the start of each season and makes sure the stats are correct since we can't trust the stats that provide us in game so please check him out he does a lot of great work he puts in a lot of effort in his spreadsheet and you can also look up every other gun if you interest them so check them out now as for the ammo types we will use on this gun or we can use we have standard issue high power and subsonic but since it's an smg and we want the fastest ttk possible we will mainly focus on standard issue so with standard issue we have a bullet damage of 22 up to 30 meters meaning the gun is a five bullet to kill if you don't land any headshots and since we get a full auto runs per minute of 900 this means our ttk is 267 milliseconds and that's what i meant at the beginning when i said our ttk for an smg close up is bad because i think every other smg or at least the main benefit 2042 smgs all have a ttk of 240 or lower up to at least 20 meters but most of them up to 30 meters so with almost every other smg you will out ttk this smg if you don't land any headshots and so this makes the smg kind of useless in the first place because you usually only pick an smg if you want to get close to the enemy and then why would you pick an smg that has the slowest close up ttk when you can and choose an SMG that has the same range but better TTK. It just doesn't make any sense and I've had this a lot when I played Redacted with this gun. Where I lost a lot of close-up gunfights just because the SCZ hit slightly faster than every other SMG. What actually led to me saying that now that I tier want again I probably won't touch it ever again. But yeah, those are the numbers. You also have high power and of course with high power you're a bit more consistent but since with high power we get a fire rate reduction. Our TTK actually is 312 milliseconds what is really bad of course we get this ttk up to 49 meters but still 312 millisecond ttk on smg is just super bad but yeah that's it for the damage numbers now shortly when it comes to reloads the reloads aren't also exactly that good with the standard drum which we will be using since it gives us the most ammo we have a 2.67 tactical and a 3.29 empty reload but it's super slow especially for an smg i mean you have to remember i know the pp29 is like the best gun in the game but the pp29 gives you 65 rounds and i think the tactical reload is only 1.9 seconds roughly so it's almost 700 milliseconds faster than the tactical on the scc but at least you get like mid recoil with this gun and basically no visual recoil but overall the gun just isn't good at least from like all the numbers and even when you play this gun like i got my 1200 kills with the gun and i still don't think it's a good gun because the problem is with those that i think the gun would be better suited in the ar category where you basically say hey this gun isn't good close but you you get a lot of consistency on mid to longer ranges so it would make a lot more sense to put this gun into the ar category than it does in the smg category but it's just my opinion so now let's hop on to the attachments so as for the attachments i test a lot of things but let's start with the most obvious one first of course it's an smg so right outside in the first slot but overall sites are just personal preference so use whatever you want now as for the magazines of course we will be using the standard issue drum as our main magazine since it gives us the most 
ammo and also the fast TTK since it's standard issue. And in the second slot, of course, we will be using standard issue extended since this gives us the mo second most ammo and also still the best TTK. And now for the third slot, you have a few options. I technically also run the standard issue, but since you per will basically never swap to this, what you could also do is run the high power drum. It only gives you 36 bullets, but you get a lot of range. So if you're somebody that actually uses to swap ammo types depending on the engagement you have. Let's say you play on a longer range map and you see somebody in the distance, you can basically swap out your standard issue to the high power drum and then have a better or a more consistent TTK for the guy on range if you play like this. But overall I would probably recommend for most people to just use the 30 round standard issue and they will be totally fine since they probably die before they run out of the 50 and the 40 rounder. Now as for under barrel, I tested it with a lot of the things but I think the LVG grip suits the gun the best just for the more accuracy you get while moving. I also played it with the laser sight that gives you recoil control and hip fire accuracy but the fire on this gun actually is good enough and also since the gun has no recoil you don't really benefit from the recoil and in those situations where I ran the laser sight with those two properties I had a problem that sometimes my gun wasn't hitting that much so that's why I will go with the AVG grip even if I play the gun on like redacted or whatever other map. And as for your barrel this is actually one of the few guns where the factory barrel is the best option. You know I usually like to run the tactic compensator on basically every gun but here on this gun I think the recoil you get by running the tactic compensator makes the gun quite bit to control especially a bit over range and then I also tried to run the recoil control muzzle but there I felt like I had too little accuracy and from what I have seen online other content creators also run the factory barrel so it seems like I'm not the only one with the opinion that the factory barrel is the best for this gun and then of course secondly I have the rip suppressor for close range engagements a lot of people say suppressor I use this in Battlefield since you don't really get minimap stealth on all ranges now. Only if you use like subsonic ammo but nobody uses it basically. But I still think the suppressor makes a lot of sense. Mainly for the sound suppressions. I have so many engagements where people could easily spot me on the minimap. But because they rely too much on their hearing. They just don't hear me shoot their teammates in the back. So they basically never turn around. That's mainly what I use the suppressor for these days. Just for the sound suppression. Because even though minimap stealth is nice. Since most people don't look at the minimap anyways in battle it. it doesn't matter if I show up or not. And as for your specialist, honestly, I think you can play this gun basically on everybody. Of course, if you want to get like high kill games with this gun, I think Falk is still the best option since with the 50 rounder, you only get one extra mech to reload. Having an ammo crate to resupply yourself all the time is the best. But other than this, since the gun isn't really good in super close range, but is very consistent and mainly used for mid to slightly longer ranges, I think you can basically play this gun with everybody. So now my final conclusion. Should you play this gun? Well, it heavily depends. In the beginning I said the gun functions a bit like the M5A3 where it does a bit of everything but does nothing really good and I really stand by this. If you want an SMG to win a lot of 1v1s with, the PBX should be your main gun since it has the best TTK with enough ammo to win at least 1-2-3 gunfights in a row without reloading. So that's that. If you want a farmer gun, like you want to go for a really high kill game, the PP Bison is the better option because for one it has more ammo, it reloads faster and it still has a better TTK. And if you want guns that are not that good close range but more like medium long range, why would you pick an SMG? You have assault rifles that do this job and do this job arguably better than an SMG ever could. So I don't really see a place for the SCZ in the game currently. Because no matter what you want to do with this gun, there are other guns that do it a lot better. The only time I think this gun might be useful would be on a map like Haven because there you have a lot of variety between your gunfights but even on Haven I find myself tending to using the PBX or the PP29. I don't really think the SCZ currently has a place in the game since it does nothing exceptional way that I would go yes on this map on this situation I wish I had the SCZ this actually never happens so it's like I would say the SCZ would be something you could implement as like a basic starter gun for players since it does a bit of everything. It's a good gun to you know get into the game but yeah when you have a better understanding of the game and what, how you want to play or what your playstyle is. There are a ton of other guns that are way better for how you want to play this game than a gun that basically does a bit of everything. So I don't really see a use case for this gun. Of course you can play it tier you want it since you only need to reach level 7 and a battle pass. I think most of you have unlocked the gun by now anyways so you can form 
your own opinion by just playing it a bit, but I won't see myself playing this gun in the future and it probably stays at tier 1 zero kills for like the rest of the game's life cycle, at least for me. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about this gun. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for my battlefield guides in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.